Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, let's learn how to extract DNA from a banana. You've learned that it's a double helix, that it's the chemical of life. But what does real living DNA look like? In this lab activity, you will be able to use ingredients that you can find at any grocery store and extract DNA from a banana. Okay, let's go ahead and get started and extract some DNA out of banana. So let's go through what you need. The nice thing about this is everything is available at your local grocery store. First, we have some liquid soap. Really, any brand will work. Some rubbing alcohol, a container of water, and you don't need a beaker. You can use anything to hold water. A smaller container. This is actually perfect, but a baby food jar will work if you don't have a beaker. Some table salt, some cheesecloth, and you can find that in the bakery section of the grocery store, a banana, and eventually we will peel it, a couple paper towels, and then have some spoons available. So let's get started with step one. So the first thing we need to do is go ahead and get a banana, and I have found over the years the easiest thing is just to use a plastic bag. Go ahead and peel the banana, okay? And then you can, you don't really even need a knife for this. You can place it on a paper towel if you care to. Uh, but what we're doing, let me move this, is we're just mashing the banana. And I always tell my students you want it the consistency of baby food. Okay, so I'm going to break it into small pieces. And then I'm going to place these small pieces inside the bag. Okay, and first thing we need to do is add one tablespoon of salt. I'll put a little salt in here. Okay, tablespoonful of salt. And three spoonfuls of water. There's one, pretty weak. Two, and Okay, next seal this and just start smashing. And again, you want it to be the consistency of baby food. Plastic bag works really well. Um, I used to do it just in a bowl, and the plastic bag works much, much better. Okay, I have uh, squeezed it and you can see it's basically the consistency of baby food. Let me recap. I have one teaspoon of salt in it and then three spoonfuls of water. So the next part, uh, some people enjoy this part, others think it's disgusting. Uh, it is just a banana. Okay, next what we need to do is we use a cheesecloth. And a cheesecloth, you can find this in just about any grocery store in the baking section and as you can tell it's just kind of a mesh and what you do is you um, basically get a little square of it next you get a scoop of the baby food mixture we'll call that okay and then you wrap it up and use your, you can use a baby food jar if you don't have a beaker like this or, or any small jar and then you squeeze it to where liquid comes out, okay? And then what you do is, especially in my class, remember I've got uh, 30 kids going through it, I ask them to then, make sure you can see what's going on, scrape this onto the paper towel and then repeat so and you need to repeat until there is no more of your banana mixture left okay so there's another good scoop of it wrap it up put it over my banana okay and again what you're trying to do is just get this banana liquid out. See, I have about 15 milliliters. See a little bit 
from the side how much that is. Okay, if you uh, use half a banana and just everything you've squeezed in the plastic bag into this, it should work out fine. Okay, let's clean up this mess. The next part is you take laundry detergent, it needs to be clean laundry detergent, um, excuse me, dishwashing soap, and you want to use um, one tablespoon of it. So let's go ahead and get a tablespoon. Okay, and now this is one part that you can really make a mistake. One tablespoon. Okay, now here is the key to this, and this is just laundry detergent, excuse me, dishwashing detergent. I don't know why I keep saying that. Is you need to stir it, but you want to make sure you don't have bubbles. So I show my class to stir it about at this pace. Okay, and you can stir for a minute or so. Okay, so I will stir. The key is no bubbles. Okay, now I think we're getting ready to extract some DNA. Here's the uh, last part. Let's recap. We have we started off with, with uh, half a banana in the plastic bag. We put one tablespoon of salt, three tablespoons of water. We mushed it until it looked like um, baby food. We then um, squeezed it. We put some dishwashing detergent liquid soap in there. We stirred it slowly for about a minute. And now what we do is we add some rubbing alcohol. Now alcohol has a less density of the banana juice. And what it does is it basically, due to density, pulls the DNA to the surface of the rubbing alcohol. And I'm going to pour about a 50-50 uh, mixture. So if you look at the side, you can see it's about uh, banana goo to, uh, to here, rubbing alcohol on top. Now all you have to do is wait three or four minutes and the DNA will float onto the surface of the rubbing alcohol. The thing we'll do is pull the DNA out. You can use a toothpick, you can use a coffee stir, you can actually use the end of this uh, spoon, but just be very careful and right here, the white, and here is what your DNA look like, looks like. So if somebody asks you, what does real living live DNA look like? Here's your answer, okay? So there we go, DNA out of a banana. Pretty easy. I've done it for years in my middle school life science classroom. I've done up to, during a day, 130 students. It's pretty easy. Every one of these ingredients you can get from the grocery store. 